Hello YouTube. This is my third video in my Meet the Pet series. And uh, my last one covering a turtle. After him I'll start moving on to some of the other reptiles, snakes and lizards and things. And as you can see he's, uh, he's very curious about what's going on. He thinks I have food on me. And I do. So he's in luck. Um, he's always, you know, just look at him go, he's in high alert, he's always looking for food. He's a very hungry tortoise, and he's got a big plate of food, now watch out. There we go, I like to park that right in there. Yeah, the first thing he's going to go for is that grape. Uh, so, um... Yeah, today he's eating, um, he's got some collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, I think are in there. It's a mixed bag. Uh, carrots, and then one grape. Fruit, fruit's just a treat for him, as it should be. He's got an 80 gallon tub. Uh, his dirt mixture is, uh, Organic topsoil, sphagnum moss, and sand. He's got his UVB light right there. Heat bulb. Yeah, it's his basking spot's about 104 degrees, 107. Depending on where you point it. Usually he's right there. And it's about 90 degrees there, but he likes that dirt spot right there. He'll dig himself a little hole and hang out there when he's not eating. In the winter, he spent most of his time under that log, so I think he was putting himself through hibernation. And then one day, after about three months, he just woke up and went looking for food. Yeah, so there he is, Russell the Russian. Not actually from Russia either, these guys come from Central Asia. So, you know, uh, Afghanistan, those kind of places. This summer I'll, I'll put them outside, make a little enclosure for them. Whenever you can, it's, it's ideal to try to keep these guys outside. I live in New York, so obviously most of the year it's too cold. But he's got a pretty good setup here. Alright, I want to take a minute to talk about the situation with these guys. So they're currently the most popular pet tortoise in the United States. Which is great. From the point of view that they're small, manageable, hardy. They're not going to get as big like the Sulcuttas. But the problem is that most of them are caught in the wild. Now I want you to stop and think about that for a minute and consider every not now of course not every pet store carries them but a lot of them do they're a staple even at you know big box pet stores like PetSmart so stop and think about every pet store in the country carrying these guys and if let's say 90 percent of them are wild caught that has to take a toll on the wild population now I'm not completely against wild caught pets, be they fish or reptiles, as long as it's done sustainably. But in places like Central Asia where these tortoises are probably, you know, they're not closely monitored or regulated, who knows what, what it's doing to the population taking all these guys out of it. So it, it, it makes me feel a little guilty having one. Um, I can't excuse my past ignorance, and if I could change it, I would. I would go back and and buy a captive bred tortoise. The only solace here is that he's obviously a happy little tortoise. I'm giving him a decent life. A lot of these don't get that much. A lot of them end up, you know, impulse as impulse pets and poorly taken care of. All I can do at this point though is, is just uh, 
to anybody, you know, get the word out to anybody that's watching my videos. You know, just try try not to support this sort of thing. It's it's hard to even think about. You know, you go into a pet store, you're looking for a unique pet, an animal. Maybe you've already researched its care requirements. Hopefully, something like the Russian tortoise is easy to take care of comparatively. The last thing from your mind is that the tortoise that you're looking at was probably once wandering around the wild, packed into a shipping crate, shipped to Florida, held at a at a warehouse for who knows how long, possibly laden with parasites, and that ends up in the pet store. It really makes you think. Stop and think. I didn't really want this video to be a rant, but uh, you know. These are just the things that, that, that I think about. A lot of controversy about little Russell here. He doesn't care though. He's alright. He's, uh, he's done eating. He's going to go bask. Maybe take a nap. And that about does it folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to click like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Not with a turtle.